and not sharing. I'm woman of now sharing. I'm glad you woman enough to apologize to your husband that you overreacted about the whole Sully thing. And that you apologizing and that you willing to make it up to him and try to keep your son with what marriage you got there. Good job, Sharon. Good job. Oh, so Jill, you know the time. Meaning, a.k.a. your thirsty ass. Cause how many times do you play somebody to get on top, on top of some money? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know the tight feelings, and you can see her coming a mile away. Cause that was you younger years. Jill, you better go get you some damn business. I'm not doing with this. I'm not playing this back and forth with you all day. I'm letting you know right here first thing morning. Now, that was your first strike right there. Jill, I'm not playing with you all this. Uh-uh. No, help. Jill, go find you a lab. Go find you a bottle. Go find you a man with some money. Jill, get the hell out of my face. What the fuck kind of awkward ass part that Chloe was throwing? So Chloe and Kevin let in and jump their ass in the head of party. Um, Paul and Christine show up thinking Dylan coming, but he going to the Newmans. Chelsea and Connor going to the Newmans. Nick came to pick them up. So what is going to be? Um, Paul and Christy sitting there possibly waiting on Dylan to come. Um, um, Michael and Lauren up there, sitting up there because they want to be the awkward one to say, okay, then this boring that's go because Kevin there. That's going to be an awkward ass party. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, Chloe. No, I don't. Now, see, Sharon, when I seen the preview of, you, of this, I was team you versus team Nikki any day. But now that I'm seeing this shit, Nikki was trying to keep her fucking peace with your ass as long as she could. Now you pipe it in where it shouldn't be piped in with your big ass mouth. She invited her son, not you. She should have invited you, but she didn't. But that's the size of the point. You keep on tripping in her in the, uh, interrupting her conversation what she had with her son. Talking about the, you ain't gonna protect her from Victor. See, Sharon, I was gonna protect you now that I see you a bit an annoyance. I ain't protecting your ass now. Nikki should have got in your ass. Well, she all tipped it to the dinner and stop for every time. So, you gotta be thankful for Thanksgiving that Nick Dylan stopping your ass for getting cussed out by Nikki. Cause you kinda deserve that cause you're being a little bitch right now. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you bothering me and not your kids? <laughs> oh, Jack, that was wrong. That man trying to play nice. So you gonna talk about so why are you bothering me? Not <laughs> we know Billy annoying, but God damn, Jack, did you have to cut him that deep? Michael, bite your damn tongue. Kevin and Kevin and Claude will never be a real family. If you think that say you think that way, Michael, you need to slap yourself in the face again and think ten times harder. Cause that helper got some shit she got to be accounted for in or going to doing some prison time. So they'll never be a family. No matter how cute they might look together. I throw up every time I see them, but that's just my preference. Everybody else they might look cute, but they ain't gonna last. I'm patting on that one. Child, Sharon, you just can't help yourself, could you, girl? Did you really have to show your ass like that? that why you just ain't stay your ass home? Are you really asking Michael for legal advice, talking about some damn custody for a damn baby? That's not... Sharon, I don't know what kind of new pills you on um this year or the last couple of months. What you need to start taking and you think you got any chance of getting any kind of type of legal custody and or any kind of visitation with a child that's not yours. And he shouldn't be cut out child life because he was part of y'all. See, you just made an ass out of yourself at the damn party. And I don't blame Christina. I turn my fucking head and pretend like I don't know you neither. You'll be sitting in the back of my damn head, too. Or the brother that can look at your ass was Paul Christine got her neck turned to you like this. Like, oh, Lord, this bitch showing her ass. Sharon, nobody can't take you nowhere. Because you always got to show your ass. 
Oh my God, Sharon, let it go! Now you're fucking with Claude with a D Nessa with. Sharon, you need to go find you the nearest hole and go hide in it for the, to, you can get over that baby. Lord, you try anything willing and able. They're trying to put some motion to it and it stops and it stops. Every time you try to do it, it stops in clear sight. You gon' Girl, if you don't get you alive and forget about that baby, we ain't saying not to remember. We just telling you not to rem not to forget we not telling you to forget about the baby. We just telling you not to show your ass. You been showing your ass. Oh, oh. Somebody to go talk to you and tell you, Sharon, you really need to let it go. I thought Chloe was gonna do it. I Chloe is kind of the brutally honest sometimes. I thought Chloe was gonna have another sit to say you need to let it go. But I see Chloe ain't got enough sense neither. Oh God, not you. Dill and Sharon, no, I had about a fuck enough for y'all for the day. Thank God this is over. Lord have mercy. Now you going to come to Nick and tell him I'm suing you for... Like you will have any kind of legal shot at that. that I guess y'all got to hear from a judge and an actual lawyer that tell y'all motherfuckers y'all ain't got no rights when it come to that baby. Don't matter how long you done spent time with that baby. And maybe y'all two stop pushing, he might let y'all spend some time with that baby. But since y'all MFs want to go ahead and... Lord. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. H Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see y'all Monday. Bye.